So I am an internist practicing functional medicine, regenerative and anti-aging medicine in Boston in a private uh, practice see about uh, 15 patients a day and essentially use a lot of testing and that's why I'm here to tell you about this. I'm here to tell you about the NutriVal because it's, I feel like it's a great test for um, looking at every patient, looking at some of the functional imbalances that they have at a very, uh, a very deep level and absolutely helping them to um, create optimal health regardless of the symptom, disease, or condition that they're seeing you for. How many of you are physicians? Raise your hands. Great, many of you. How many of you are nutritionists or cl other clinical uh, people in an office? Okay. How many of you do NutriVal testing? Familiar with it? Okay. How many of you want to do NutriVal testing? Okay, great. It's a great tool to use, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. So let me figure out how to work this. Okay. So the, the patient that I've chosen today to use is a patient who presents with fatigue. They're sick and tired of being tired. And I'll tell you some of the um, diagnostic tools that I use to get to the root cause of this problem. And it's similar to what I use to get to the root cause of many complex diseases. Um, so the key messages, the key take home points are that nutritional deficiencies are at the root cause of most, if not all, I believe all, complex chronic diseases and all symptomatology that your patient presents with. And how many of you were at the general sessions this morning? So all of you know that you heard about nutrient deficiencies, you heard about anaerobic conditions or need for oxygen, you all heard about mitochondrial issues. We're going to look at mitochondrial issues in this NutriVal testing and try to understand how you can upregulate and optimize a patient's clinical picture. So macronutrients and micronutrients are required to improve health and to prevent disease. Metabolism happens, whether we like it or not, it's happening all the time. Metabolism involves um, repleting deficient micronutrients and macronutrients, macronutrients being proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, and micronutrients being some of the B vitamins, antioxidants, uh, and essential minerals. So again, the first key message, which I'll continue to repeat, take home pearl about the NutriVal testing, is that nutritional deficiencies are at the root of all complex chronic diseases. So when you look at this slide, if you look at the bottom of this slide, the very bottom, the soil, what we're looking at when we measure a NutriVal is we're looking at the internal milieu, or the soil, if you will, of uh, a patient. And we're looking at what's going on with, rela with relationship to the environment, particularly lifestyle and nutrition diet, and how that's impacting um, physiological function, including genetic predisposition and functional imbalances. Typically, we look at the very surface, which is the branches and the uh, leaves of the tree. We're looking at each um, aspect of subspecialty medicine, cardiology, pulmonary, gastroenterology. But if we look at uh, the basic level, the nutrient, all of the macro and micronutrients, we're looking at the basic ingredients that are, that are supplying, um, they're the ingredients that are, that are supplying, that are available to make the chemicals, the hormones, the neurotransmitters that are going to uh, allow the systems to function in a more integrative fashion. So the, the case history that we'll use, and this can really go for any patient, is a 43-year-old uh, woman who presents with increasing fatigue for greater than a decade. She looks perfectly healthy, but she does meet the chronic fatigue infectious disease syndrome criteria. She doesn't take any meds. She has a normal body weight and BMI for her height. She is only on omega-3s consistently, and intermittently she takes other supplements. So what's interesting about the NutriVal is that it allows you to think about, you know, what supplements am I going to prescribe for my patient? Am I going to just pick uh, population-based supplements that I've heard are good for you, vitamin D, probiotics, omega-3s, or am I going to pr prescribe supplements for the patient that actually the patient needs, that I can document a need for? Um, her initial testing was completely normal, CBC, complete metabolic panel, thyroid, and CRP. 
So I had to think about, you know, what am I going to do for this patient? How am I going to evaluate this patient? How am I going to, what tests am I going to use diagnostically to un understand what is at the root of her problem? So some of the tests that I use in my practice, every patient day one gets a Nutrivel, every single patient. It, um, I understand how it's covered by insurances. I understand which insurances cover it. I uh, coach the patients on how to um, afford it, if not, and work with them. But every single patient in my practice gets a, nu a nutrient evaluation. I also do a, a lot of hormonal assessment, looking at the adrenal glands and thyroid, particularly when somebody comes in presenting with um, fatigue. And I also look at gut function, because the gut is quite important. So typically, in, in, the, in my old practice, when I was practicing internal medicine at the Brigham, Brigham Women's Hospital, I would, the first thing I'd start with would be a thyroid assessment. And generally speaking, in my present practice, I don't find that that's a really huge problem. It can be a minor problem, but oftentimes if I start with that and I treat that because that's what the patient desires, that really doesn't solve the picture. Going to the nutrient evaluation has really benefited my patients tremendously.